One of the things that was driving me crazy for the longest time is not knowing how to create a uh, Damien standard or chisel brush continuous stroke. So uh, let me show you what I mean. Um, if I grab, if I go to my light box and just grab this DynaWax, for example, um, and let's assign a something like the metal material to it. So maybe let's grab this Z metal, right? And if I wanted to just for fun, make it kind of blue. And the other thing I want to do is maybe pump up the resolution. So I'm just going to give myself a lot of resolution. And that gave me uh, plenty of resolution. All right, so now if I grab my uh, chisel brush, by going to brushes and grab the chisel brush right right there uh, I don't need my symmetry on but now if I try to drag it let's say I make I'm making some sort of a robot or some sort of a armor and I try to drag the chisel brush it creates this awesome line right as long as I don't release the mouse I can create these really cool panels. Maybe it's a, for an armor for a character or, or some kind of a robotic character, right? And this is great. But as soon as I release it and I try to go back and continue it, maybe now I want to go this way. Um, you can see that it's creating this strange connection. And this one of those things that I just never looked into, but it was driving me crazy. And um, Right now, I want to show you how to fix it because I finally looked into uh, dealing with this nonsense. All right, so how do we fix this? Well, just like um, many things in 3D, sometimes it's just one little checkbox. Um, so if you go to your tools and find something called Morph Target, you can actually click this button called Store MT, Store Morph Target. If I click on it, this time when I drag my uh, line, And try to connect them you can see that it's not doing that strange overlapping which is absolutely a must for creating panels or armor and as soon as I turn this off let's say I turn this off and I try to connect from here to here like I was doing just now you can see the difference so look at the difference here and here, right? It's doing uh, this strange overlapping. So if you um, are looking to create continuous lines with your chisel brush, this is the trick you want to use. So you store your uh, targets, you make your lines, you make your design, whatever it might be. And then once you uh, finish, you can just simply say delete and now it's kind of baked into your mesh and let's say i decided to oh you know i want to continue to do one more here well if you just simply undo right if i just go back one this brings back my uh, settings and now i can make my line and then delete it so i thought it was just really simple uh trick but it's something that for some reason I never looked into and uh, it was driving me crazy. So I wanted to share with you guys and see maybe it will help you in your work. All right, thanks for watching.